Rosa Corey is executive director of the Post Sustainability Institute. She's a forensic commercial real estate appraiser specializing in eminent domain valuation. Her 30 years of experience analyzing land use and property value enabled her to recognize the planning revolution sweeping the country. While fighting to stop a huge redevelopment project in her city, she researched the corporate, political, and financial interests behind it and found Agenda 21 impacting every aspect of our lives. UN Agenda 21 Sustainable Development is a corporate manipulation using the green mask of environmental concern to forward a globalist plan. You said it, corporate fascism. But again, it's corporate globalism. People say fascism is only nationalistic. In the 30s and 40s it was. Fascism is mega corporations taking over your government and shutting down their competition, okay? That's what it is. The New World Order is a global fascist banking cartel takeover of the planet. Continuing here, UN Agenda 21 Sustainable Development is a corporate manipulation using the green mask of environmental concern to forward a globalist plan. Rosa speaks across the nation as a regular blogger on her website, Democrats Against UN Agenda 21. Uh, well, uh, both parties have been totally taken over by the globalists. That's why Mitt Romney supports Agenda 21. So does Obama. And the simplest boil down is on Agenda 21, they shut down all the other coal plants that aren't owned by GE and a few other insiders and then double or triple the power prices and say it's for the earth. That's what you're saying. That's one example of we're going to double, triple charge it's for the earth. They actually say that in Austin two weeks ago. It's for the earth. They increased it 40% last year. Now this year they say depending on what type of you have, residential, business, church, nonprofit, 20 to 80% increase in one year. But the big Formula One globalist out there, they're actually, he's actually getting a grant from the city and the construction paid for and tax, and tax breaks, and they're calling it environmental to build a race car track out in the woods and cut everything down. <laughs> you got to love it, man. You got to love it. So she joins us. She's the author of uh, The uh, Green Mask and uh, or Behind the Green Mask. It's available right now. Just went up on the shopping cart at Infowars.com, and it's a Bible to give, it's 180 pages or whatever, to give people in your towns, your cities, who don't understand what's happening. Even a lot of the minions at the city level don't know what's going on. Okay, Rosa, uh, this show uh, has some longer segments. She'll have some time to roll. I want you in this segment the next to tell us how you woke up, the basics of Agenda 21, why the New York Times and others are coming out panicking, saying folks are waking up, how important this is, and then we're going to take an hour of calls from people and their questions across the country next hour. Rosa Corey, uh, good to have you here with us. Great, Alex. It's great to be with you. You know, I'd like to just start for one minute just by saying, yes, our group, our website is Democrats Against UN, agenda 21com but of course, this is not a left-right issue. It's not a Democrat-Republican issue. This is an issue for all Americans and all people in the world because United Nations Agenda 21 is a globalist takeover plan. It's a plan that inventories and controls all resources, both human and natural, and all means of production in the world. It is the action plan for the 21st century, and that's what the United Nations calls it. So um, people who, you know, I, I, of course, I get people who say, how can you call yourselves Democrats? Don't you know about the Democrats? Of course I do. The point is to show that this is um, a united fight. It's all Americans. And there's way too few people on the left. I'm a left liberal. There are way too few people who are on the left who are aware that the environmental movement has been hijacked and is being manipulated. This is not an environmental protection plan. This plan is a plan to destroy everything that you value in your world. It's a way to take over your, um, your control of your land. And you know, when we talk about private property, this is a control of private property. It's a takeover, it's a movement of moving your private property from individuals into the mega corporations. And when you see that, you understand that you yourself are your ultimate private property. And this is a way to take control of your civil liberties as well. And tying in with what you said about the New York Times and other uh, propaganda press doing what they can to destroy this movement of people who are waking up to the United Nations Agenda 21 Sustainable Development and trying to stop it. Um, what's happening now is, of course, the press is attacking us viciously. I've had vicious articles written about me. All kinds of people are saying uh, ridiculous things. And of course, uh, the American Planning Association, which is vital to this movement to uh, take over your 
your land and your water use and your control of your property, they have put out a new communications boot camp. And it's a 12 week seminar on how to control and manage uh, the press and what to, and how to reframe this issue because they know people are waking up. So we need to stand up together. We can stop it, but we have to get rid of these minor issues. And I'm talking about the minor issues of who's the Democrat, who's a Republican, who's gay, who's straight, all these issues. They use that as a football. They use that to distract us. And then people end up supporting Santorum over Ron Paul because, you know, he talks more about abortion when he intends to do nothing on the right. Or people that are obsessed about the whole gay marriage thing instead of all the other huge things that are going on on the left. I absolutely agree. But let me just add this to what you're saying. The fact that they're attacking shows that we're having an effect, A, B, Al Gore has been discredited. Schwarzenegger pushing this has been discredited. They're, they're in trouble right now, and they've got the 20th anniversary of this Agenda 21, as you know, about to happen back in Rio again. But this is about private property. If they openly come out and say, we're going to take your private property, uh, yeah. people would say no, but they call it environmental. And we see it now where you can't build a barn. They've got drones watching the farmers. I mean, this is the rural council of Obama. That's right out of Agenda 21. Please continue with the things it's doing to people, the plans of Agenda 21. Yeah, well, you said it. You know, the uh, White House Council, the White House Rural Council, which, is, uh, which was established by executive order by President Obama, is modeled on the President's Council for Sustainable Development, which was created to instate United Nations Agenda 21 in the United States. Agenda 21, the agenda for the 21st century, it's also called Sustainable Development, um, it was an agreement. It was signed on to by George H.W. Bush and 178 other national leaders back in 1992. And, you know, you're going to see in the press that, oh, this is an old plan. It was non-binding. It doesn't matter. But the truth is that they brought it right back into every single nation and they instated it. It's the action plan for sustainable development. And it is, you're seeing it now because it has been a stealth plan over the last 20 years. And they're in the end game now. And that's why we need to, you know, drop our nonsense, our minor issues, and get together across the world and fight this. And we can win. We can do it because it's a global plan, but it's implemented locally. Well, the elites, the elites have put out memos, like you said, and I'm not saying some of these issues aren't important, but they call them footballs. They throw them out so that the system can agree on global government, the whole fascist system, and they admit it. But going back to the U.N., as you point out, they admit this is the global plan. They admit it's a post-industrial world to shut off people's resources so you have to go to government and be dependent so you can be socially engineered. But also part of Agenda 21 in UNESCO is global standardization of law enforcement, federalizing, and in England's already done this, now the U.S. is adopting a quasi-cop near minimum wage goon force Again, they have this in England that harass people and ask folks what they're doing in parks. DART, P Dallas Police TSA offers security help at latest violence. And now because there's crime because of increased poverty, now the TSA is going to be in Dallas. Now they're going to be in San Francisco. Now they're going to be in Tampa. They're everywhere. Federal, non-sworn officers out of their jurisdiction, the ants, again, this is, and if the feds take over, the feds themselves are under this global system. We're being conquered here, Rosa. You know, Alex, it's worse than that, because those guys are wearing uniforms, and at least you can recognize them. But the truth is that we, uh, your pl the plan, the way the plan is designed, well, of course, you have community-oriented policing. That's in every, you know, single community. You find those little offices. Those guys are operating under the Department of Justice. Then you've got your, um, I was just looking at uh, De DeKalb County, Georgia. They are uh, making sort of your local citizen into a code enforcement ambassador. You've got people in small cities, in uh, small neighborhood associations that are actually working with the city to, uh, to get all of your information on you. They are, they're actually toadies, they're shills. They're creating these asset-based community development programs where you are the asset and you will be doing mandatory volunteering. If you wanna know how Agenda 21 impacts you right now, 
take a look at Sonoma County. That's where I live. It's a it's a rural county. We're about an hour north of San Francisco. Bohemian Grove. The county supervisors have just announced that out of the 1,384 miles of rural roads, they will only be paving 150 miles, and the rest of those roads will be pulverized to gravel. Unbelievable. Now, that is going to have a tremendous impact on people's property value, on your ability to get to your property. I want to stop you right there. We're, come, we're, we're going to come back from break and continue on, on, on what this is going to do. But I hope people are listening here because when she talked about this the other day, I went and looked it up because uh, I heard her on the radio and I knew they were doing this. They said they destroy the roads. Uh, they have that map will show, a U.N. map of half the U.S. off limits. And they say the rewilding is first they go to dirt, then they're going to start making you have a special permit to travel in there. And, and when you hear a hundred and something miles in that county, it is hundreds of little roads. I've been there many times covering Bohemian Grove. It's, it's, it's concrete roads up stuff so steep without it you couldn't make it. I mean, this is, that is beautiful wine country, beautiful homes everywhere. This is the sabotaging of our infrastructure. It is high treason. And we're going to get into these toady spies because I've run into them. They, they hire spies. Out in East Texas where we've got a family ranch, multiple times they tried to build a new coal power plant and they sent little Nature Conservancy minders and others to literally go door to door to do all sorts of stuff, to harass people, to threaten people. And they are so creepy and they're operatives and they act like they're citizen activists. And, and, and so I guess you've run into these little toadies yourself and then continue with how many miles of roads you've got out there and what they're planning to do. Rosa. Everyone has run into uh, to these people and they're, you know, what does it take for someone to be, uh, you know, to go along, to get along? Uh, it takes, you know, maybe for someone it's just to, to appoint them to a board or a commission or to promise them a contract or just give them a pat on the back and tell them how important they are to the city. You know, there are plenty of people out there who are willing to be obedient servants of this plant. People who are maybe also getting money, people who buy in totally to this plan. And I really want have compassion for people who are environmentalists who really think that this plan is about the environment. It is not. If it didn't sound so good, we wouldn't all be falling for it. It's a manipulation plan. It is a totalitarian plan. So yes, they are pulverizing. You're talking about uh, they have no money here in Sonoma County to pave our roads. You know, what do your taxes go for? What do you want from a county? You want them to pave your roads and, you know, do a few things like that. Well, they're not going to be paving around 1,200 miles of roads here in Sonoma County. And if you can't get to your property, what does that mean? It means you'll be coming into the cities. There are already 60 million miles, 60 million acres of roadless land in the United States. And the plan is to keep you out of the rural areas, keep you out of the forested areas, move you into the city centers where you can be surveilled, controlled, manipulated, and managed. And I know this sounds crazy, but you know what? The plan is crazy. We are not crazy. We are recognizing, we are reporters of what is going on. There are people in neighborhood associations who are actually working for, for instance, the Lung Association. The California Lung Association has an advocacy arm for smart growth. When you want to find these people in your community, put, your, put their name in your search engine with ICLEI, that's I-C-L-E-I, -I, that's the International Council of Local Environmental Initiatives, or put it in with smart growth, or put it in with sustainable development, see what comes up. And by the way, they've now put their signs up at many of the hike and bike trail entrances to Austin as if they made the hike and bike trails. So they're all, yeah. I mean, they're, they're, they're putting their gang sign up where I live. You know, this is, these are your tax dollars. Now I ride a bike, you ride a bike, bicycles are great, but the bicycle coalitions are the shock troops for sustainable development. If you go to my website, which is DemocratsAgainstUNAgenda21.com, and you read about it, it's also in my book, which is Behind the Green Mask, UNAgenda21.com, I talk about how the bicycle coalitions partner with uh, huge low-income uh, low housing developers.
And then the, the, you know, the average guy in the bike coalition doesn't know anything about this. I'm talking about the people who are running it. They are working hand in glove with these enormous developers of low income housing. That's what's getting built in the center of your city with your tax subsidies. And these are these are developments that are called smart growth. This is the preferred development plan for United Nations Agenda 21. All right, stay there. I want to talk about what they're doing here in Austin. It's incredible what the bike riders are doing. We're going to be taking your calls on Agenda 21 coming up here in about 10 minutes or so, but we're continuing here. And I don't want to continue after the break because some stations don't carry this first five minutes. XM does, and about half our affiliates do. We're talking to author of Behind the Green Mask, Agenda 21, available at Infowars.com. Hope you uh, get it, folks. And while you're at it, get my film Endgame, Blueprint for Global Enslavement, that tells you the rest of the story about once the global government's in place, the Agenda 21, the super unions, the breakdown of the borders, the forced inoculations. It's all their documents. Uh, Rosa Corey, author and researcher, a forensic um, investigator, um, a forensic commercial real estate appraiser, joins us. You were getting into the bike people. They're real aggressive. They're told to do this like a cult uh, by the local bike groups. They're all big environmentalists. That, well, they're not real environmentalists. They're, they're shock troops who believe in this. They get out in the main roads and try to block you in groups. It's not critical mass where they're fighting back people who don't like bikes, but it's kind of that attitude. And they, they cut in front of you, and now they're like on, say, 6th Street. They've shut down part of the lane. It's a giant bike lane. And instead of pulling in to park in those businesses now, they make you go around and back in, which is super dangerous. And I've talked to the businesses there. It, it, it's, it's destroyed their business. And, and then they take a bunch of parking spaces out and mandate little bitty parking and then bike parking. And it's just incredible how aggressive they are. But don't worry, bike riders. America's going to collapse. You're not going to have a job. You're going to have to ride a bike. So don't worry, you run things. Uh, but, I mean, you, you're correct. They are little gang members for them now. Please continue. Yeah, you know, this is the truth. And I ride a bike. Like I say, I'm not, you know, I'm not uh, talking about that, that riding a bicycle is a bad thing. What I'm saying is that the bicycle coalitions are being used as the shock troops to, uh, to demand this kind of development. And also, you know, you're talking about that reverse uh, back end to your uh, parking uh, space. That is dangerous. These uh, uh, bike boulevards are dangerous. If you're a bike rider, these are dangerous for you. But uh, we're not talking about what's actually good for a bicycle rider. We are talking about a globalist plan that remakes your city to a specific model. This is not only in the United States. It's all across the United States and all across the world. And you'll see these plans. They are um, they're called One Bay Area. They're called four states, one vision. They often have the, the word vision in them, or they might be your city 2050 or your city 2035. They're planning out to uh, 2050. This is the planning, you know, what we're looking at is a planning revolution here. And it's a totalitarian plan that they're implementing. I wanna let people know that totalitarian plans all share every totalitarian plan, whether it was under Stalin or Hitler or Mao, they all share the same elements, and you will recognize it here in your country, wherever you live. You'll see that there's being a takeover and a total control of all land use, of your educational system, of means of production, your, all of your resources, okay? Also, you'll see it's all for the common good. It's all for the fatherland. It's all for the homeland. It's all for everyone's good, right? The individual will lose against this. Um, you see the scarcity mentality. Oh, there's not enough. You have to restrict yourself. You have to conserve. You know, am I a pig? Do I want to use everything up? No, but we're talking about, a, this is a totalitarian uh, design. Well, this is about okay. them controlling who they dole it out to. This is about right. them setting the standards <laughs> of your light bulb, your toilet, your parking space, your roads, destroying your roads, and they admit to shut you down to make you poor so they can control you. They all brag about it. They're a pack of l l scum. Well, you know, here's here's another element. Okay, there's five elements in totalitarian plan. There's Stay there. Five. Start over when we come back. Start over, okay. recap how they're doing it on the other side, and then phone calls. We'll do one more segment just going over it, and then your phone calls. And for folks that are holding, we're going to get to you.
We'll be right back. And again, the book is Behind the Green Mask, Agenda 21. It's available right now at InfoWars.com. You support uh, Rosa Corey. You support InfoWars.com. So be sure and get the book and get it out to everybody. You know, a lot of callers have pointed out, we've pointed out, that there's global standardization. And a month ago at Davos, the Homeland Security put out a press release saying we are helping governments through this body and through other organizations and, and international planning groups set up security, uh, set up supply chain, set up everything. They've got global standardized environment, roads, police, everything. And it's all done by grants by the big mega banks. You look at Goldman Sachs, J.P. Morgan, Bank of America, Wells Fargo. All the groups caught laundering literally hundreds of millions in drug money. All the groups caught, like Wells Fargo and Wachovia, owning and, and leasing the drug courier aircraft. I mean, that came out in Bloomberg and AP. Uh, again, it's purely about land grabbing. And it's about getting rid of your local government. And they come in, they run people for mayor, they run them for the planning boards, they get them all in position. And the first thing they do is start grabbing rural areas, saying it's going to be a buffer zone. Then they flip it and sell it, always. Then with that money, they start taking over more land. And it is just savage. It is savage. I mean, around here, they've taken farms, ranches. Uh, it's eminent domain. They pay you almost nothing. You saw the cases in uh, Connecticut where they were taking houses that have been there three generations and charging you to have them taken. Because if you don't take their pittance, then, then when they win, you pay the fees. Uh, my dad, a few years ago, for our family land, got a uh, letter from the state saying, here's your your landowner bill of rights. And of course they called tyranny a bill of rights and they said, you got just a few weeks when somebody wants to take the property or buy it or do a pipeline or something, you got a couple weeks, uh, I think a total of six. And then if you don't accept it, we'll just take it. That's your new right. And it, it's just criminal government. And, and the NAPTA superhighways are meant to shut down the roads in Agenda 21 where you can't exit. Now, there's already toll roads all the way from Texas 35 up into Oklahoma and then into Kansas. It was like this a decade ago. You try to drive, you can drive 100 miles before you can exit. You see all the ghost towns. They've, they've blocked up the exits. They were there before. And then they build McDonald's and things in the middle. And select groups get to have the business. I mean, it is incredible what they're doing. It's so diabolical. And Rosa Corey was talking about how they've taken over and financed uh, the uh, you know bike groups uh, that supposedly lobby for bikes. And they're taking over major streets. They're turning the parking around backwards where it's super dangerous. It's about, we're going to tell you your toilet. We're going to tell you your light bulbs. We're going to tell you your house. We're going to tell you where you can build. We're going to tell you about your car. And and they admit, in fact, put the, the uh, map on screen for folks watching at prisonplanet.tv. If not, just Google uh, Dr. Michael Kaufman UN maps. These were shown to Congress. This is a uh, map made off of the UN diagrams of what they want by 2020. This is from 1992. You can see them doing it now. Half the U.S. is off limits to humans. All that in red. Okay? Half the country. In fact, the one we've got on screen is kind of blown out in yellow. Show them this map, the one I found. Uh, PropertyRightsResearch.org actually has a better res one. I actually own some big ones around here I got from him that are the high-res ones that show it down to county level. But you can see that. Red is totally off limits, half the country. Uh, buffer zones uh, is about 30% of what's left. And you're, you're left with under 20% total that you can use. Under 20%. And that's a good map. You can see King Ranch down there is uh, in orange. Okay, going back to our guest and then to the calls in the next segment. Rosa, continuing, you were going over the five factors of totalitarianism that we see under Stalin, you name it. We're seeing under this global, corporate, neo-feudalistic surf system where they take over via bureaucracy and through finance capital. Please continue. Yes, this is a loss of your independence. That, you know, if you're going to distill it all the way down, that's where it goes. It's a total loss of your independence, your food independence, your land independence, your water independence, your civil rights. And a totalitarian state is, has five elements, five main elements. And that is, of course, uh, total control by the state of uh, education, energy, transportation, uh, all, you know, all, of the, all of the elements that make up a country, right? Your land use, your water. And then you have uh, control of all production, right? Then you've got, it's all for the common good. So you have the fatherland, the homeland, 
everything for the common good. You have this under Hitler, under Stalin, under Mao. Uh, you're hearing this now. This is a communitarian plan. That's what communitarian is. It is, and is. It's balancing the rights of the individual against the rights of the larger community. In this case, the global community. And you you will lose scarcity. That's another element of the totalitarian plan. Right now, you know, this is the plan. Is okay. Right at this moment, you have to pull in. You've got to conserve. You you know, you need to restrict yourself. You have scarcity. But then here's another element is the glorious future, the vision of the glorious future. And of course, you know, you look at these plans that you're seeing all over the United States and across the world that are like Vision 2020, Your City 2050, Four States, One Vision, Five Counties, One Vision. You'll see this one Bay Area. It's all over the, the world. Okay, these plans are all the same all across the world. And they're openly trying to get rid of sheriffs and make it an appointed position and have the city under international control, as Schwarzenegger said in USA Today, absorb the county, which is completely backwards. The county is chartered by the state and is the authority. The city is the little incorporation. So, again, it's the cities taking over the counties, which is a complete fraud. Well, you're going to, what you have is basically a regional takeover, and those boards are not, they're made, be made up of elected officials, but they're not elected boards. And this is the step, the building block to mega regions, which I'd like to talk about as well. There are 11 mega regions in the United States. 50 states are going to be a thing of the past, and you will see 11 mega regions, and ultimately globalism and an erasure of the board of national borders. So I want to tell you what the last two elements of a totalitarian state are. And we're talking about a corporatocracy, these public-private partnerships. This is an element of the creation of fascism, totalitarianism. So you've got this vision of the vibrant future, that word vibrant, the green, glorious, vibrant future, fast trains, everyone on a bike, everyone smiling, drinking coffee downstairs in your downstairs coffee shop. Everyone, you know, has, no one seems to be working in these visions, right? Then the other element of a totalitarian state is terror. The war on terror is a war on you. And I know you know that. This is what's happening now is you cannot travel freely. You can't get on a plane. That's without. exactly what Agenda 21 says is you're not going to get flight unless they authorize the trip. You're not going to have a car unless they authorize it. It's all admitted is what's crazy. I mean, th right. th people are like, well, they're going to bankrupt the airlines. That's the plan. They don't want you flying. They, they'll do whatever it takes. They're, they're even right. now, the TSA, I saw an article a month ago, is even saying in some cases they are going to go in the body now with a nurse. You're like, strip search isn't bad enough behind closed doors? If they can't stop you to fly, they're going to start. I mean, it, it, is, it, is, it is incredible. <laughs> yeah. You know, and they call us crazy. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's nuts. You have to get excited and upset about this stuff because it's real. And the thing is, I, I wouldn't like people to feel paralyzed by this because the fact is we are waking up all across the world. People are joining together. It doesn't matter what your political party is. It doesn't matter what your uh, affiliations are, whether you're gay, straight, whatever. I happen to be gay, and I'm telling you that because I've you know seen a whole bunch of ridiculous stuff in the press, too, about me. And the truth is this stuff's irrelevant when you get right down to it. We're talking about our freedom here. We're talking about our freedom as free people across the world. And there are way more of us than there are of them. So we need to do our civil disobedience. We need to stand up, speak out, educate ourselves and each other. We need to spread this information. This is not a conspiracy theory. It's a conspiracy fact. This is real. Agenda 21 is the agenda for the 21st century. If you go to America2050.org, you will see 11 mega regions. This is the plan, is to erase the boundaries, the city, county, state, and national boundaries. And worldwide, they've got 10 mega regions, and they even ad admit in the SPP documents that they're merging the countries under this. It's already happened. That's right. Yes, that is right. And people need to take a look at this, because what you need to do is ask your elected officials whether they support Agenda 21, where they stand on ICLEI. Now listen, there are, of course, there are going to be some good politicians, but most of them are bad. It's our job to make bad politicians do the right thing. It is our job as Americans, as French people, as Australians, as New Zealanders, 
as free people across the United States, across the world, to stand up and say, no, we will not be subjected to this plan. We need to stop it now. We're in the end game now. So what you need to do is educate yourself, make flyers. We have flyers on our website for you that you can make. Uh, and it doesn't sound like something that sounds like fun, but believe me, you get out there with 7,000 flyers like we did, and we stopped some of these plants in our city here in Santa Rosa, California. We're doing it all across the San Francisco Bay Area to stop one Bay Area, which would subject 7 million people to a regionalization plan that most of these people, 99.9% .9 of them, do not know anything about it. It combines transportation with housing. And you will see this, that you are restricted in your transportation choices. You will lose your ability to have a private vehicle. Your roads will be pulverized. You will be subjected to searches and seizures in your, in your trains. You will not be able to get onto a train without identification. That means you'll be carrying ID on you at all times. And they're running green police ads for Audi, and then the makers of it and the mayor of San Francisco said, this is what we really plan, and they already had green police in many cities in that very uniform. All this is psych warfare. I mean, it's so insane how evil these people are. And the weird thing is, and Rose, I want to talk to you about this after we take some calls. I've been to smart growth conferences 12, 13 years ago. I've been around them. They'll turn to you when your camera's off and go, we know it's a takeover. Ha, 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 we're going to make money. The, 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 most of them are actual crooks, even low level. They know this is a criminal mobster gang, but because they've got long hair and, and, and flip-flops and, and guys in suits, everybody thinks it's okay. Uh, so we'll race through yours and then everybody else that calls in, Agenda 21. But it's such a giant subject. I mean, it's everything. So I don't know how you couldn't address it to our guest, to Rosa Corey again. Behind the Green Mask, Agenda 21 is the best primer, 180 pages with documents, you name it. How to fight it, what they're doing, how to recognize it, to give to people in your area. But you don't want regionalism. You don't want uh, smart growth. You don't want sustainability. It has nothing to do with that. It's a power grab. And it hurts real environmental concerns because it takes over the whole movement and makes it only about globalist corporate power grabbing. Uh, so it's just a nightmare. Um, you're on the air with Rosa Corey, our guest, Sam in Missouri. You're on the air, welcome. Hi, uh, I was just like thinking about what you said about uh, the takeover of the water supplies. And I, I know that some of the big uh, industry beverage giants have already kind of went in and taken total control over it, even in- No, they come like, in and buy city reservoirs like right here in, in in central texas where we live uh and then they double the price just it's, it's it's not free market they your city's traitorous your county your state they sell it it's pay, they call it privatization and they double the price uh, i mean it's just total criminality they're taking the commons uh, go ahead does that tie in somehow to like maybe <laughs> yeah yeah that's why they're saying blue gold now because they're going to jack up the price with artificial scarcity rosa yeah, I really want to talk about that. Thank you for asking that question because, yes, your water agencies need to be investigated. They are completely, totally connected with United Nations Agenda 21, Sustainable Development, and with ICLE, the International Council on Local Environmental Initiatives. You will find that the more you conserve water, the more you will pay for water because this is the plan to restrict your water usage you will end up getting like an allotment of 10 gallons per person per day. The water agencies are restricting your water. And another thing you'll find is that your dams are being destroyed. And I'm not talking about little dams that don't uh, you know, serve many people. I'm talking about huge dams up in Northern California, up in Oregon, across the United States. About a thousand dams so far have been destroyed. The plan is to destroy your independence in the rural areas and destroy your ability to uh, obtain Same water. Same thing. They're, 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 they're having government buy up and have regulators for small power plants, whether they're hydroelectric or coal to shut down, so your city or your county or co-op's gone, so they, again, it's so they can force you to buy it from them. It's so criminal. Yes, that's right. And that's what you see with community choice aggregation. You've got your government, which can't even keep its own streetlights on. It's now going to go into the power business and compete with the big power producers. And you are going to be paying for this. And this is a, a design. This is designed to make our economy fail. 
This is the purpose of Agenda 21, is to destroy your independence, both financial and your land independence, and your ultimately your, uh, the independence that you have in your own body. And this is the plan of Agenda 21. I, I want people to know, though, I, you know, there are things we can do about it. I've got about 20 pages in my book that, you know, on what you can do, and you don't have to buy the book. You, know, you can go to my website. I have information there. The thing is, is that we need to work together as a world to fight this because this has been way too easy for them. They've managed to fly under the radar for a long time and make it seem like we're fringe. It's really coming out now. And this is the time that we have to really fight it. And we will win this together. We can stop United Nations Agenda 21 Sustainable Development. We will prevail on this. By the way, you're not just saying that. Maury Strong, the head of Agenda 21 uh, in Rio, and they started all this 20 years ago, they're about to have the new event this year, said this will be a post-industrial America. Our goal is to destroy the United States industrially. And, of course, he's moved to China. Of course, they're exempt. So yeah. it, it, it's all about forcing everything to their system where they made a deal with authoritarians. So by shutting us down, that increases their value. You know, he's got, uh, of course, he's in Crestone, Colorado, and I've been contacted with the people in Crestone, Colorado, who are just in the Baca there, who are just uh, being, they're, they, their area, their town is being taken over by Maurice Strong. You know, if you go to the 1976 Habitat One. Uh, United Nations uh, conference, you will see that they define private property as being uh, unsustainable because it is an instrument of obtaining wealth. They, the plan is to bankrupt all of us as individuals, to destroy our... And this is the mega billionaires who are exempt from everything. Yes, that's right. Of course, Maurice Strong owns, he owns this whole valley, all this water. Uh, you know, they, he was going to basically own all of the water in that area. And this is a control and a takeover of all of our resources. Don't forget that. All right, stay there. We're going to come back with more calls. Long segment coming up. Tim, Nick, John, Herb, Bill, we're going right to you. On the other side, the book is Behind the Green Mask. You and Agenda 21, InfoWars.com. Going back to our guests, you hear me ranting, but I mean, we're seeing more and more censorship. We're seeing Cass Sunstein at the White House saying, censor those that, you know, that uh, disagree with us. Go ahead, Rosa. Well, you know, back in the uh, 1800s, early 1900s into the mid 1900s, we had tons of little newspapers. Everybody had a town paper. There was a morning paper, an afternoon paper, an evening paper. Now you pick up that rag that you've got in your town, which I know is a mouthpiece and it's, you know, garbage. But it is your local paper, and is, there's four pages there, you know, ten pages. So the thing is, is that we have been, basically, this is what they get you to do. They offer you a product that looks really great to you. The Internet is fabulous. We love it. And then they restrict it. And so, meanwhile, they put everything out of business. You know, there's no more newspapers, and they, there's no more independent press newspapers. All those little papers are dead. I really appreciate you, Alex. Thank you for doing this show, and thank you for getting this information about UN Agenda 21 Sustainable De Development out to the world, because we all are our own papers now. This is it. You can't rely on anybody else to get this information out. You want to make up flyers and get these out to people, because the more educated we are, the bigger we are, the more of us there are, the more control that we will have, because we have lost control. And this is what we need. You know, you've got your electronic media. What about when all your books are on electronic media and then they can change them? Or oh, Kendall, them? Kendall's already deleting stuff. That, they admit that's their plan. They yeah. can now go out on YouTube with a program and erase every video that has your voice with a voice print. It's called Shazam. And we're actually seeing it. Again, a film that I own the copyright to that a company doesn't even have the copyright to. I've got to deal with this. The end game. Anyone tries to upload 30 seconds of it, it's preemptively blocking it because they're saying Endgame is theirs. I mean, it's wow. already here, and, and that's why I plan to start a physical paper where we email people the template to print it in their area or have it online, or even if we have to mail a thumb drive if it gets to that point, where I'm going to start a, a, a paper that's half our national news, and then the other half is whatever you put in it in your town. That's one of my plans. I've been so busy, I haven't launched it because I knew all this was coming years ago. Now I need to hurry up and get that going because, but I mean, it's here. 
<laughs> We're going to have to go back to the Pony Express or something like that, because the thing is that people will not be silenced. And uh, I want to tell people, you know, obviously you know this if you're in school, if you're a kid or if you've got kids or, you know, you're reading your uh, children's, uh, you know, information that they come home from school with. Sustainable development is in everything. It's not just that, you know, this is a this is a plan to take your land and water and your mobility and your independence, but you'll see it in your schools. And so you're going to see it in their documents and you're going to see it in your newspaper and you're going to see that it's got the right jargon. They make it sound so great. They make you sound so stupid and so ridiculous if you don't go along with what they're saying. In fact, I've got this thing here I want to show you. This is called, this is, Hey, you don't believe Agenda 21 exists? Here's, uh, we, what is this called? It's called Rescue Mission Planet Earth, a child's edition of United Nations Agenda 21. It's got a workbook in here. It's put out by the United Nations. It's got a workbook in here for kids. Your children are being indoctrinated in your schools through outcome-based education, which teaches you to what? Be obedient. The corporate model once you... Well, it's a dog training, but let me stop you and go back to calls because every point you bring up is, is so central. Yeah. I went to three national parks a few months ago uh, with my wife and children, but also did news gathering while I was there. At every national park I went to, I showed this on air, like the Grand Canyon, had a free coloring book at, at all the park restaurants, and it said... Tell your parents to turn off the lights and don't take a hot bath for the earth. Your carbon friend's too, uh, too big. And go to the ranger station, present this, and you'll be sworn in as a deputy forest ranger. And then I went to the ranger station, and they'll swear you in, but it's also a sales job where they have little uniforms for like 50 bucks for boys and girls. And then the ranger tries to sell. I'm not kidding tries to sell them little Hitler youth outfits, and then there's manuals that are even bigger, all about how your parents are bad. I mean, these are hardcore crooks running an op like Hitler to take your kids from you. I mean, I mean, that, I mean that's what a cult they are. You know, Alex, people who think you're ranting, you know, the truth is it really is like this. This is exactly what's going on. Hitler youth is not far off. We are seeing, you know, that people are having to do their city year before they can graduate from school. This is mandatory volunteering. You're finding that, uh, you know, they're training children to be obedient like dogs. You're not learning anything in school. They're rethinking mathematics so that it's social equality, social equity. That's an element of United Nations Agenda 21. And, you know, there's a logo. I want to show you this, too. Let me just show you this. This is uh, the Marin County um, general plan, and every city and county in the United States has a general plan, and that's, you know, tells you your land use plan. Right inside of this plan is the logo for the United Nations Agenda 21. Yeah. That's that, those three circles, you're just going to see this all over. This is They're putting them up at Austin Parks. Yeah. I want to read a it's quote everywhere. here. We may get to the point where the only way of saving the world will be to, for the industrial civilization to collapse. Maurice Strong. Again, here's another quote. Uh, After all, sustainability means running the global environment. Earth Inc., like a corporation with uh, discretion, amortization, maintenance accounts. In other words, keeping the asset whole rather than undermining the natural capital. And, and he, uh, he, uh, they just go on to say shut down the United States. Incredible. Man, you know what? Listen to this. If there you are the asset, okay? You are the asset. You people, all of us, are the asset. You're either non-producing or producing. The amount of food you're going to be getting, your calories, will be dependent on whether you're producing or non-producing. You might think this sounds crazy. It is crazy, but I am not. This is real. These plans, you go... Oh, no, let me stop you. They admitted all the documents we were just showing the other day oh, yeah. that, that they're going to shut your resources down, and then when you can't take care of yourself, they're going to say, we'll give you money, but get sterilized. We'll give you money, but take all these vaccines. Uh, so, so they make you dependent so they can then cut you off. That's exactly it. They create dependency, and then you are completely dependent on them, and then when they cut dependent, when they cut 
speed programs, then you are willing to do anything. And they can use the folks food. that are addicted to the programs as their army. Uh, let's go back to the calls. Incredible info. Tim in New York, thanks for holding her on the air. Hi, Alex and Rosa. I can tell you uh, firsthand that uh, Agenda 21 is alive and well. Um, my wife became a resource for them. She's a research for research purposes and haven't seen her in three years. We don't know if she's alive anymore. She's been placed in a uh, facility under lock and key and nobody can see her. And um, the hospital had an interest in her about two or three, four years prior because she was a research uh, subject in the 1950s um, with thymus radiation. And uh, she didn't want to have anything to do with it. And through a chain of events, the hospital has gained control of her and um, started forcibly drugging her. And we don't. <clears throat> well, you know about all the what? eugenic secret testing in the U.S. And yeah, a lot of times they do grab the subjects later if they speak out. That happened to your wife? Yes, if you Google, it's public info, Patricia Kobylak, K-O-B-Y-L-A-K, you'll get a lot of information, and uh, it's really amazing. Well, they're still forcibly sterilizing people. Just four years ago, it was in New York Daily News in New York State that they were taking little black kids and testing pesticide on them till they died. And the social workers blew the whistle themselves and nobody got in trouble. I mean, little black kids tied down being poisoned, New York News, no one got in trouble. <laughs> just... I mean, you can't make the magnitude of this up. Her doctor yeah. is a CIA uh, Army intelligence officer. Is her her appointed doctor, so she's not. She really doesn't even have her own physician, and she's. Been sounds, I, I don't know anything about your wife, but I better look into this case. It sounds like she's got a background you're not aware of. If that's uh, true, what you just said, there's even more than just radiation testing. Her brother's uh, um, a diplomat, and her other brother's the head of uh, FEMA, the fusion government, and they're all elitist. They all, I think they're all a little bit better than everybody. I was about to say, uh, send me some info, sir. God bless you. Unbelievable. Comments on that wildness, Rosa? I don't know. You know, this. I, the, here's the thing. When I watched the terrorists come down on 9-11, I knew what happened. I never have believed the official story. And, you know, I don't care what you say about me. I am paying attention. I am conscious. You're awake. People who think, people who think their government wouldn't do a thing like that, excuse me, where have you been? What about uh, WMD, Yellow Cake? How about uh, Iran-Contra? What about uh, the Gulf of Tonkin? I mean, we could go on and on. Your government is capable and is doing this right now to you. This is a, this is a global plan, and it is implemented locally. You're That's right. Let's, let's jam in one more. Uh, Herb in Atlanta, then come back with more. Herb, go ahead. Alex, the uh, UN is in the not-too-distant future going to become an imperium of total power. I got a question for your guest, but let me work to it right quick. Plato's Utopia is a fascist psyop, Alex, and the goal of Plato's Utopia is destruction, devastation, and annihilation. You already talked about the global economy, global uh, government, global media, global religion. Pantheism, esotericism, moral relativism, reincarnation. You said something, Alex, on the heels of 9-11 uh, that is still burned in my mind. You said, after what they, after the Patriot Act, you said that America, you are the terrorist. And that is the profound statement of our time in relation to what we're dealing with right now. Now, a question for your guest, Rosa. Rosa, how does the false flag threat fit into this uh, agenda behind the green mask? Green, uh, agenda okay, both of you the stay green there. Mask. Stay there. Uh, uh, the caller we're talking to now, Herb, I want to get his response to that when she answers. And we'll, uh, amazing. And we'll do five minutes overdrive. We always do now to finish the calls. <laughs> I have I could do 20 hours here with Rosa. She'll definitely be back routinely. I, I knew about her, read some of her writing, but heard her on the radio last weekend and was blown away. And I got her on last Sunday, and here she is. There's so many other great people just like her. We'll be right back with her answer. Stay there, Herb. Yeah, just back to that whole YouTube situation, how they're starting to censor us and everybody else. Go sign up at the, uh, our official YouTube channel, the Alex Jones channel. If you go to any Infowars.com article, there's little icons at the top. One of them is a YouTube icon. You can go there, and it's there. Because 400 million people were reaching on that baby in just the last three years. That's conservative with our channels alone. Uh, our videos get copied everywhere. We're really hurting them bad. About a third of the time when I talk to somebody and I say, How'd you find the show? They say YouTube. About another third of the time, word of mouth. Another third, AM or FM uh, radio. 
and we're growing exponentially. And of course, I'm like flying towards the flame. I'm like walking towards my probable destruction. But all I want to do is bring these people down. There's there's things bigger than just yourself. And so I'm asking you to spread the word about our broadcast and propel us forward as we're getting more flack because I'm not risking my life, my treasure, my name to play games here. I want to defeat the globalist. And so go subscribe to the channel. I've never really promote even subscribing to that, but I want to just, just see what happens here because, again, they've already don't send our videos out to most subscribers. I mean, if, you, if, if videos were being sent out to quarter million people that were subscribing, you know, our videos would all get a million views apiece and not, you know, 100,000 or something. Uh, so I know it's a globalist system. I want to fight it as hard as I can. Uh, Rosa, what did you think about the point that, um, that uh, Herb was raising uh, before the break? Uh, I've been babbling so long, I forget exactly the poignant point it was bringing up about, you know. I remember. Uh, okay, go ahead. <laughs> I remember. Thank you, Herb, for bringing that up because, yes, a false flag is perfect because what did we get out of that? We got the USA Patriot Act, right? And now what do you have? You've got uh, redefining torture. You've got the NDAA, National uh, Defense Authorization Act, that says that we are the enemy. And Alex, you bet. We can, you know, I, who knows how we're going to end our lives. I'd like to end it as a free person, you know, but uh, I know that there are targets on those of us who are out there speaking out. That's why we need more of you, because the more of us there are, the less they're going to, you know, this is the point is that yes, if they say you need a national ID to travel, if they say that you can get strip searched in the airport and not have a darn thing to say about it, if they say that you can uh, be stopped and on the street, if they say that your Google searches can be uh, examined, if they say that your uh, medical records can be looked at, if they say that third party, uh, that the FBI can look at third party records, your your credit card records, this is all real. This is happening now. It's, ha it's classic hardcore tyranny, and they're just getting started. They've been lining up everything for a long time, but the feast of our liberties is now beginning. It's on. Uh, yeah. Herb, 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 uh, any closing comments? Because undoubtedly, I'm seeing a huge awakening, though, and, I mean, the fight's on. But people need to know the fight is on. Herb, closing comments to what she just said. Alex, the uh, information that you put out, because you have access to the papers that these people write, let me tell you something, buddy. You have hit the big time by being on Sirius XM. I've been on here for about five years now. But now, uh, the turning point, Alex, was in 1947 when they came up with this NSDD, National Security Defense Document. It required a permanent state of war and also trying to coexist with democracy guess what? They cannot exist together. And that's why we're having all these illegal wars. And one thing I, um, I compliment uh, uh, our Congressman Paul for, he's saying all the wrong things. I don't know. If it was a different time, he would definitely be my candidate because I'm sick and tired of all these lies and all, these, uh, all this globalist agenda. This, you know what? This, man, let me tell you something. They're setting our country up. They, they want to destroy the, the, uh, the New World Order, want to destroy this country, and that's exactly what they're doing. But you know what? I'm in the fight, Alex. I'm in the fight. You know what? And you know what? We're going to fight until the last breath. Listen, God bless you. When you're aware of the enemy and know they're the bad guys, it's over. We just got to expose their crimes, and the New World Order is going to go down. All right, stay there. We'll be back. Stay with us. We're coming back. When tyrants are trying to take my liberties, are going to run over me anyway, I'm going to go 110% up against them. I'm not going to just cower and wait and hope they get to me last. No, you know what? Get to me first. Because you want to go and hurt all these innocents, you got to go through me first and millions of other people worldwide that are awake and are waking up. The globalists got a lot to lose, though. They're not going to go away easy because, <laughs> man, they've committed so many crimes. The stuff we know about is so bad. Can you imagine, Rosa, what we don't know? that they're up to with the legions of crimes they've committed and been caught doing? It's incredible. You know, they are capable of it. That's, this is what's so hard for most of us to believe because we are good people. It's hard for us to put our minds out there and to accept that it's possible that someone would do that. But the truth is, if an enemy wanted to destroy us, they couldn't do a better job. This is the enemy, and you do need to know your enemy. I, you know, I am not advocating overthrow of the government or some violent thing. We are doing this. This is what we're doing. Our words are our swords. Our actions, what our actions should be is educating ourselves and each other, 
standing up to the planning department in your town. We I'm have the we local. have the moral authority, and I mean, when they're working under UN Agenda 21, they are literally enemy operatives here to sabotage and take over our society. They, and that's not embellishment. That's not even strong enough. These are operatives, and you need to let them know that they're shameful. They're indoctrinated. They have been indoctrinated by the American Planning Association, by many different groups. And we have to help these people get deprogrammed, and we need to do it to save our country. If you have to educate your elected officials, get them my book, get them the information. We need to share this information with everyone so that they know this is Absolutely. not a well thing. Everybody's got to order behind the green mask, June 21, right now at InfoWars.com and get it to people in their planning commission, you name it. Because most of them are just indoctrinated, you're right. But you'll always run into conscious operatives as well that'll giggle and snicker at you. John in Maine, a quick question or comment for our guest. Yes, um, I'm up here in Maine, and I was just wondering if, if either of you have ever been to the state of Maine before. No, I haven't, but I've been close. Well, you know, you've got a great fighter against Agenda 21 right there in Maine, and that's Charlotte Iserby. She is phenomenal. She's done tremendous research with her book, which is called The uh, Deliberate Dumbing Down yeah. of America. Get that book. That's a great book. Absolutely, sir. And, and, and one-stop shop, InfoWars.com. You want to support us as well as the author. We have the new edition. Uh, is that your question, sir? No, well, actually, my, my thing is I wanted to let you guys know about something that was going on up here was that, you know, on the western part of the northern part of the state, there's a lot of forests and, I mean, a lot of undeveloped land that people go hunting. And yeah, they're trying to lock it up and not let you have access and put it into consortiums where, where the government just gives it to the Nature Conservancy, correct? Right, but, but what they're doing up here is they're blaming it on the paper companies, saying that it's the paper companies that want the people up there. But we all know that, you know, for two or three generations, my, my family's gone up there and not had any problems with the paper companies. All of a sudden, the government and the state is telling us that it's the paper companies that don't want us up there. Yeah, no, no, no. They're everywhere. The, the, the feds already out west have like 80% of the land or more. They're grabbing more up with our tax money. They're doing everything they can to get land out of use. It's called the rewilding. I appreciate your call. Closing comments on that, Rosa. You know, that is true. Basically, anything that stops production, anything that stops your industry here in the United States is part of United Nations Agenda 21. This is to sink our economy, to destroy our economy, to destroy our independence, and to make us completely dependent and move into the cities, out of the rural areas, to close off access to all the rural areas and any it's amazing they have. Rosa, we're going to have to have you back up again with more solutions soon and get you on the nightly news. Uh, behind the Green Mask, Gen 21, available at InfoWars.com. Thank you so much, and God bless you. Thank you. I'll say bye to you after the show here in just a moment. Uh, by the way, we got Kurt Haskell on with the sentencing of the government underwear bomber. He's one of the survivor eyewitnesses. He's on tonight. And we've got a Matt Stein, a huge nightly news show, 7, PrisonPlanet.tv. You don't need me to tell you that humanity is in a deep crisis. Everyone can feel it. We know a tectonic struggle is now taking place between the forces of freedom and those who love darkness, bondage, and enslavement. Yes, my friends, evil is rising. But take heart, for every action, there is an equal and opposite reaction. Recently, New World Order operative Hillary Clinton admitted they're losing the info war. We are in an information war, and we are losing that war. The globalists are scared. They've overreached. The future of the info war is in your hands. Join PrisonPlanet.tv. Download the thousands of special video reports, ebooks, and more, and get them out to everyone you know. Continue to spread the word about the broadcast on YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, and every other globalist propaganda platform. We are going to use their system against them. The info war now goes into high gear.